Hey everyone, my name is Akash Nagarapu. I'm a sophomore here studying biomedical engineering here at SME, and I live on the fifth floor of Grand. So today, I'm going to show you what one of the single rooms looks like on Grand. All right, here I am at my room. I gotta scan my ID one more time with the scanner before I can open my door. All right, welcome to my home. So I live in a single suite at Grand, so I have one other suite mate who's joined to me with our bathroom, which I'll show you in a second. But I wanted to take a moment to show you what my room would look like. And maybe your room would look like too if you choose to come to school. First we have a sink, as you can see right here. All single rooms have their own sink. We all have our own beds, it's a twin XL bed. And then we have enough space to put some of our other belongings. For example, I brought a TV um, and I have a bunch of books right there. Those are MCAT books, so yes, I'm going to have to start preparing for that soon. I have my guitar. Uh, here I have my desk with my laptop and my mug. Um, and a pro tip for anyone who's coming to SLU, move your dresser right next to your desk because that makes it so you have a lot more extra space when you study. Here is your closet right over here. It's very spacious, you have a bunch of space for hangers. And now I'm going to show you what our bathroom looks like. So like I mentioned earlier, we are joined by our bathroom. The bathroom itself has a toilet and a shower, as so you can see right here. Very nice and spacious as well. And then, because my suite mate is not here right now, I can show you what an empty suite looks like. So this is what it would look like uh, during move-in day. Again, it's a very similar copy of what my room looks like, except it's barren. Here's a sink, here's a bed, and my suite mate, when he was here, he actually um, did the exact same thing that I did. And then just to show you what it would look like outside, especially in the morning, this is what I wake up to every morning. A common question prospective students have about living in a residence hall here at SLU is what furniture comes with the room that you get. So first I'm going to show you that we have a chair, and then we have a few other things that come with a room, including a dresser, and we also get our desk. We also get a twin XL sized bed, and then of course the bed post. And if you live in a single, you get a sink just like me. Now, a couple things that are not included with your residence hall purchase is a mini fridge and a microwave, but you can rent them through Bedloft. And if you want to get a lofted bed, you can do that too. Bedloft is something you can access through your housing portal when you get to that point. So here I am in the kitchen on the fifth floor of Grand. And in Grand you have a kitchen and you have a laundry room and alternating floors. So, on the odd number floors, which include 3, 5, and 7, you have a kitchen. And on the even number, even numbered floors, you would get a laundry room, which include 2, 4, and 6. So in a second, I'll show you what a laundry room looks like. But here at the kitchen, we have access to a microwave right over there, a stove right behind me, and we have a toaster and some coffee makers over there. Now to access the oven, all you have to do is press this one button. Let me show you that right now. You can come right over here. And you just follow the password and the directions and you can click start and stop. And that's the, it's as simple as that. You can use the oven and you can use the stove. Uh, the microwave is right over there. And it's free to use for any student that wants to use it. All we ask is that you clean up after yourself. And no issues with that. My next stop is the study room here in Grand. So in every floor we have two study rooms and one lounge. And I'm right now at the study room that's closest to me, which just so happens to have one of my favorite views on campus, which is a view of the city, which I can show you right now. Slu Hospital is right in that direction if you can check it out. And when it comes down to the evening time, the sun sets right in that direction. So you can imagine how beautiful this view can be in the evenings, regardless of the season. So in this room, we have a bunch of chairs and tables. And there are also two, uh, a single TV right over here that can connect either by HDMI to your laptop or directly to cable, which can be accessed right over there. We also have a whiteboard, um, very easy for using uh, to solve our math problems and science problems. And sometimes, as a floral, we might write notes to each other on this whiteboard. So it's a really nice, homey way to kind of stay in community with each other. Here we are. I'm going to go up to the lounge now. This is what one of our hallways looks like, and I'm right now walking over to the lounge. And during Halloween, all of these walls will be filled with some of the craziest decorations you've ever seen. 
sometimes you put paper over these lights and it turns the entire hallway into a pretty ominous looking hallway. And let me tell you, it can be scary, especially at 4 o'clock in the morning. Hey Jordan. Here we are in the 5th floor lounge again. We have one TV like the one at the study room. And we have another beautiful view of the city. In the lounge, we have a bunch of spots for kind of just relaxing with your fellow floor mates. Bunch of couches. There's also individual little desk cubbies that you can sit at. Uh, I personally like to sit in one of these chairs later into the night when I'm done with my work. And just to read a bit. One of my New Year's resolutions was to read more books this year. And, I can't, I don't know if you can tell very clearly, but all the way into the distance is actually the arch over there. Shout out to anyone who can actually see the arch over there. Welcome home, Belkins. And the last thing I'm going to show you is that this is the last wing of Grand. I just came down in this direction. My room is this way and then to the right. And here we are at the last bend of the U. You can go down the building, either through these stairs right over here. There's also a set of stairs at the end of this hallway and the stairs that are near me. And the last thing I want to show you is our water fountains. We have two of these situated on every floor, one right over here and one at the other end of the hallway from where I just came from. Um, and yeah. And this is another favorite study spot of ours. We're looking out into Duberg Hall. All the way in the corner you can see the library and those uh, the zigzag lines are actually the stairs into the library. And then all the way up there is Greestoke Hall. All you can see is the university, which is for St. Louis University, and that would be Grease Hall. Sometimes, especially in the summer, us students like to gather around these windows and just wave to people in the Greestoke Hall. And Especially during fall, during a move-in, it's probably the fun thing, most fun thing to ever do. You can just see a bunch of people waving to each other. A bunch of random strangers, but new friends probably.